My name is Isis Anchali. I am a software engineer. I just... <laughs> Hi, my name is Isis Anchali. I look like an engineer. And this is my cat, Pepe. He looks like a cat. Hi! <laughs> Okay, now that I've broken the ice. Um, so I have recently been doing some Googling, trying to find quotes about diversity. And I came across one that was a Muslim saying, and it goes, many different flowers make a bouquet. And we're all the flowers. Um, I dropped out of school to teach myself how to code, which led to becoming a software engineer. Math was always really hard for me, and so, um, Basically overcoming a lot of the previous math trauma that I had to do some some of the super deep computer science theory stuff. Uh, I'm just overwhelmed with the amount of gratitude for how much amazing support that people have been giving this movement. So if you're unfamiliar with the story, I'm Isis. I work at One Login as a platform engineer. And so this all started from when they asked me to participate in a recruiting campaign that was targeted at engineers. This is what the campaign looked like. It featured a photo alongside a quote about what we really enjoy working about the company. So, you know, I thought that my coworker Peter in a large black top hat and a shirt that read hacker would be a little more controversial, but I was wrong. So shortly after the ads went up, People started taking photos of it and holding their own Facebook discussions, basically expressing disbelief that I could in fact be a representation of what a female engineer looks like. And what does a female engineer even look like? Coding, there's like a hump that you get over and once, once you're over the hump, then it's just like, I got this. You can really apply it to any field. You can go into fashion, finance, food, science, whatever. I do full stack Ruby on Rails in the back end and JavaScript on the front end. And with coding, I'm always learning new things and I'm always surprising myself about solving really interesting challenges. And it was basically an attempt to share some personal anecdotes about unfavorable experiences that I've experienced since I first joined the tech industry. I was absolutely blown away at the amount of momentum that the post got and the, the wide demograph that resonated with it. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think the experiences that I listed in the post were really that uncommon. And people reached out to me wanting, um, wanting an opportunity to share their own voices and their stories. And so that's how the hashtag, I look like an engineer, was born. Basically, um, one thing I really want to emphasize is that mainstream media has really picked up on this as a gender campaign. And I look like an engineer is radically inclusive. I mean, the whole point is that your external appearance and your gender is not a limiting factor on your cognitive ability.